Now, how do we defend against this? Let's take a look at some of our common defenses for man in the middle attacks. The first and most important is to educate your users. Your users are the ones who are going to see these warning messages in their web browsers and in their SSH connections. If you educate them so they call you immediately when this happens, or at the very least, that they say no, that they discontinue with the session once they see the warning, you're going to reduce a lot of the possibilities of this happening. You also need to really consider establishing PKI, or Public Key Infrastructure. SSL and SSH really rely on digital certificates and public and private keys. By formalizing a PKI infrastructure, you reduce the chances that these warnings come from misconfiguration and increase the chance that when you see the warning, it's actually the result of an attack. And again, knowledge is half the battle.